Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're going to be talking about neck bands. Um, I'm going to start a series about neck bands here coming up and today we're starting with how to determine how big your neck band should be. Uh, we're going to be working with knits today um, and we're going to grab a dress and we're going to figure out, measure our neck area and figure out how long a neck band we need to cut out and then we're gonna sew it on. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, also, this is a great tutorial for if you have like a t-shirt that's way too tight and you wanna lower the neckline, you wanna make it lower, uh, maybe a sweater and you wanna take off a hood of a hoodie and just make it a neck band. This would be a great tutorial for that because you can just literally measure however big you want that hole to be and add a neck band. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's do it. Let's figure it out. I've got my neck area here, and like you see, it's already put together. I already sewed it, I already sewed it together because I wanted to show you how you can measure your neckline. Like, let's say you have a t-shirt and you did want to lower that neckline. You can go ahead and just cut it out however low you want to, and then we can measure it out after. Um, but if you wanted to measure out your pattern, pieces you can do that you can just measure out your pattern pieces you just got to make sure to account for seam allowance so whatever your pattern seam allowance is you will have to subtract that because you want your neckline to be according to your neck opening um, so you would have to omit the seam allowance so if i'm measuring when it's already sewn together there's no seam allowance because it's already been taken out so what we're going to do is we're going to grab your measuring tape and of course i rolled it the wrong way which means that the end is over on this side and we're going to just start measuring around. I like to go ahead and just measure the front first and then the back because that way I can keep better track of what's, you know, like actually do it really well. If I try to lift it up, then my tape measure might move and not be good enough. I'm going to start here at the shoulder and I'm going to just stand my measuring tape up so that way I can kind of curve it. See how it's like curving around the neckline all the way around the neckline. Make sure it's your fabric is nice and straight and all the way to the shoulder. And when I get there, I'm going to see how far it is. It's 14 and a quarter, 14 and a quarter for the front. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing for the back. I'm measuring starting at that seam and going all the way around to the other seam. And that is eight and a half. So I'm going to add 14 and a quarter plus eight and a half. So that's 22.75. Um, and so now I'm going to grab 22.75 and I'm going to times that by anywhere between 85 to 90%. Now, the way that I'm going to figure out if I want to do 80 or nine or 85, I mean, eight, it's anywhere between 80, I would say 85 to 90, sorry. That's like a 5%. So if I want to do 80, 86, 87, 88, or uh, 89 or 90, how I figure that out is how much stretch your fabric that you're using for your neck band has. So I'm going to be using the same fabric. If it has pretty good stretch and pretty good recovery, I'm going to stay around 85, 86. Mm, that's fine. Mm, probably about 86 is a really nice, you know, regular neck band. If my fabric barely has any stretch, if you try to stretch it and it like a French terry that doesn't have much stretch, then I would go up to like 90. So my neck band is longer, right? Now, if my neck band has a ton of stretch, if it's just like stretching out, um, then you want to use less, less. So you want to go like 85 or whatever. So it's smaller. So you either want to go, if the fabric has really intense stretch, you want to go smaller. If the fabric doesn't have much stretch, you want to go bigger. So since this is a medium, really nice stretch, I'm just going to go with like an 87. That's a good number that I just usually like to use. So I'm going to grab my number, my total measurement of my neck, and I'm going to times that times point. 86 is what I'm doing and whatever that gives me then I'm going to cut the length of my neck band now for the width I like to do like 1.5 to 2 depending on how much seam allowance you want to have so let's say you only want a quarter inch seam allowance so that will be one uh, a whole a half an inch seam allowance and you want your neck band to be about an inch 
remember you're going to fold your neckband over and you're going to eat this bottom so depending on how wide you want that neckband to be if you want it skinnier wider so you have to account twice the amount you want if you want it to be one inch wide you want to have you know two inches plus the seam allowance so if the seam allowance is a quarter inch so you want a half an inch so 2.5 if you just want your neckband to be like a half an inch then you want a whole inch plus the seam allowance another half an inch so an inch and a half i'm gonna just go with two inches and that will give me somewhere in between and i think that that will be good my total was 19.56 and again that's gonna be by two inches and my ruler actually is a two inch ruler so that works great all right so there is my neckband now i'm gonna go ahead and attach it and show you the finished result if you want to see how i attach my neckbands check out my next video on attaching the perfect neckband where i'll show you how to attach it um and um yeah all right i am finished with this beautiful neckline and if you want to see how i did that top stitching with my sewing machine and it still kept it a stretch stitch or how I covered up the back seam, looking really nice from the front and the back, go ahead and check out my next tutorial where I will show you how to get that perfect neckband. All right, friends, we are done. If you want to watch the finished version of how to sew up this dress, make sure you check out my previous video where I finished sewing it all up and show you how it turns out. But the neckband, turned out amazing i just measured it i hope this was helpful if you have like a t-shirt or a dress that's either too high and you want to bring it lower um, or something like that you can do this on your own measure that neckband and then put it on now if you want to see how i finish this neckband um check out my next video <laughs> where i uh will show you exactly how to do it and um yeah it's super easy so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.